Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, today I thought I would show you guys how I clean my beta bowl. Now it's actually a little tank, but I deliberately made the tank um, totally non-mechanical. So there's no power filters, there's no um, heaters or anything in there. Uh, mind you, I, no, I should say there is a heater in there, but I only run it um, in winter. Now summer, so the temperature is pretty much warm or you know close to warm all the time. So uh, I don't put anything like that in there. So right now there's nothing actually powered in the tank, okay? And I think it's a uh, two gallon tank, I believe, or is it one? I can't remember. Anyway, it's very t uh, very small. Um, I've had this beta for I think uh, about a year and a half or so, approximately. And um, she's a survivor, guys. She has jumped. <laughs> I used to have her in a divided aquarium uh, with two other tank mates and I had it, you know, everybody in their own little compartment. They've died and moved on. And, um, but she, I rescued her from uh, PetSmart once because I was, I didn't go to PetSmart for a fish. I went there for some other aquarium supplies, but I bought her because I felt so sorry for her. She um, looked like she was just miserable, dying in her bowl that was actually Believe it or not, the water actually stunk in the little container they have them in those little cups. And um, she, she was just pitiful, guys. So I just bought her just to get out of the store because I figure anything I can do would be better than what she was suffering through. And of course, you know, female betas are not as popular as the male ones because they're not as flashy, etc. So anyway, I bought her and I brought her home and I've had her for that long. She has jumped out of the aquarium on occasion, uh, I think three times. One time she jumped out of the aquarium um, when I was when I lifted the lid to try and clean the aquarium. She literally just jumped right out and uh, landed on the floor. I grabbed her tissue, put her back twice. Third time she jumped out of the aquarium when I didn't think she could and landed in a um, a storage unit I had underneath the aquarium and. I fished around for her and I thought, okay, that's it. She's really gonna go. This is it. She's dead. Sure enough, I put her back in the water and she acted like nothing happened. So, uh, needless to say, I am very fond of this beta. So I try my best to take really good care of her. Um, for a while, she's probably gonna be my last beta because right now I have three aquarium guys. I have a 77 gallon goldfish tank. I've got a three gallon shrimp aquarium uh, and I've got the little beta tank. So I'm trying to reduce, not increase. So that's why she's just in a simple um, non-mechanicized, I can never say that word, <laughs> tank. And she's doing well. So um, I will show you guys a picture now, you know, just so you have an idea of what I'm talking about. And then I will then uh, show you how to change, how I change the water anyway. So I've, just so you know, I've been doing this for a really long time since I think I was a preteen when my mom bought me my first feeder goldfish and I've been addicted to fish ever since so I've been at this for a really long time guys like over 15 years so I'm experienced and um, you know you don't have to practice to, to get certain things right if you don't quite know much about what you're doing but trust me it's something that you can honestly do if you put your mind to it so let me just uh, show you guys um, the little tank that I've got her in okay so you guys can see right here, she literally lives um, next to uh, my um, TV, as you can see, and um, it's nothing grand, there's a little orchid beside it. Um, this is actually the divider for this um, little tank that, that comes with it, but I figure since uh, she likes to jump so much, I deliberately put this over the tank and plus it lets lots of light in and I don't need the divider because I only have her in there and I, only, um, I would only put one beta in this tank although it says you know you could put two I don't believe that I think a fish should have as much water as possible to keep them happy and healthy so right now if you look over here so I've got my container of water that I just filled up with just tap water that's all that's in it right now and I try to get the water um, to what I know would feel about room temperature, which is what the temperature, you know, in, in the tank right now for her would be. So I just fill it up and I let it sit for a bit. And right now what I'll do is I'm gonna grab the uh, water um, conditioner, which is going to remove all the chlorine and all the other bad stuff that will kill your fish if you just dump them in there, okay? So one sec, guys.
Okay guys, so I've got uh, the conditioner and I use this, okay? I'll just show you. I use Prime just because I think it's probably the best. But that's my humble opinion. I've used others over the years, you know, Aqua Clear and all sorts of stuff like that. I think it's called Aqua, Aqua Clear. But in any case, I use Prime now. It's extremely concentrated. You only need like a few drops of this per gallon. Um, if I turn around, I think it says um, one cap full of this stuff uh, will treat 50 gallons of water, like five zero gallons of water, guys. So this is worth, you know, uh, the money that um, you spend on it, okay? And it, it works instantly, so I just use this to uh, dechlorinate water. In the old days, I used to leave the water sitting overnight, and then, you know, that, that's just too much work, okay? So I'm just going to add the prime right now in there. And since this, um, what I've got here is less than, I would say probably two gallons of water or so I've got in here, I'm just going to add, you know, like, like cap form, you know, I mean, I could add more, it's not going to do any harm, you know. You'd probably do harm from adding not enough, but not by adding too much, you know. So that added up to about a cap full, guys. Okay. And just let that, you know, I kind of just do that. You can stir around your hand, but I don't want to stick my hand in the water. I don't like to put my hand in aquarium water, whether I'm, you know, in the tank itself or water I'm about to put in there, because I, I just feel like I don't want to contaminate the water with anything. So, give me a sec, guys. I'm going to put this away. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you what I use. I use this, okay? This is the, okay, I know it says Big Isles Gravel Cleaner. <laughs> it doesn't have to be Big Isles Gravel Cleaner, but Big Isles is popular where I am. It's a really great um, aquarium store, so I use this. And it's the mini aquarium cleaner. Uh, I'll show you how big it is. It's, let's see here. So as you can see, it's, it's like about the length of my hand. So you can, you can get an idea, this is not very big, it's like maybe three, four inches long, that's it. Uh, five inches, I don't know, I'm bad with measurement, guys. Okay, so it's small, and it's perfect because when you go over here, of course, you can see that it will just be the right length to empty out and uh, wash the gravel in here. Now, some people, you know, I've seen, this, even on YouTube, some people say, you know, oh, you know, fish the beta out, um, let's look at me for a sec guys they say you know fish the beta out of the tank um, you know put the beta in a bowl separately and then just you know wash the gravel and you know in the sink or something like that and then you know put the beta back in I'm like that is so stressful in a fish like seriously and you don't ever want to um, destroy the biological filtration in your tank and if you're gonna wash your tank out with any kind of chlorinated water or you know you you you're 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 causing damage to that biological filtration which you cannot see but is crucial to you know um dealing with ammonians and other um, harmful um byproducts in your tank so all you have to do guys is vacuum out the water um and use a gravel um, vacuum cleaner like this appropriate for the size of tank you have these things come in all sorts of sizes from this to like extremely large like for the one for my 77 gallon uh, aquarium is obviously it's pretty long it's a good uh, about two feet you know um, the tube I'm talking about okay so use this and then you can get a good um, clean on your tank and you can just leave your beta where it is okay so let me show you a little more about the tank before I continue just so you have an idea of what we're dealing with okay Try and get it as close as I can. Start tipping over. So guys, you can see here, this tank, I hope she doesn't jump out. <laughs> she's like right there looking at me, guys. She's right here, see her? I think she's actually um, hoping I drop some food, but I, I, I'll feed her later. Um, if you can see that, let me just bring that in as close as I can. I hope she doesn't jump out. I have noticed though, the older she gets, the less jumping she does. You can see her right there. 
okay so as you can see if you look at the floating um, like the top of the the water you can see I have like floating they're very tiny like right here and that would be um, duckweed okay I got those for free from a pet store a long time ago and once you have duckweed you've got it for life trust me okay and see the heater I was referring to this is not plugged in it's just sitting there guys you can see right there there's a snail okay that's my nearite snail keeps the glass perfectly clean I don't have to scrub this glass clean ever because nearites love algae okay I also have in there you know just some rocks a fake plant this is the only fake plant I actually own in any tank guys because I hate fake plants um, but since I didn't light this aquarium, I figure, you know, the only light it's getting is from the window, you know, just the window that's like right there. That is the only light this, this tank gets, guys. It's south facing, so it helps. Okay. Um, and basically there's like a, another, uh, this is a live plant right there that she's hovering over. If you can see her, she hides very well. And at the back, I have like a moss ball. Well, it's not a ball anymore, but it's like right here, guys, right there. See it right there okay it, it used to be a ball but it kind of fell apart but anyway it's still it, it's really good for filtering the water so that the duckweed you know and water changes and the snail um, and not overfeeding um, this beta keeps this fish happy okay so you don't need to have um, have an aquarium filter to have really good quality water for your beta but you just have to know, you know, you got to have some kind of filtration, whether that's through plants or water changes or through um, a filter. Okay. So what I'll do now is just set this aside a little bit. I think you guys can still see that. And you can get an idea how small this is because honestly, it lives on the, the table with my television, guys, in, in the living room. Next to the uh, antenna. Because I'm cheap, I don't pay for cable. <laughs> okay, so we got a good view on there. So what I'm going to do now, guys, you can hear me, you cannot see me, but I'll be grabbing a container. Okay, and you guys, I got an, another empty container here. I bought two of these from the dollar store just because, you know, it's easy and cheap and it works. All right, so just move this aside. Okay, so what I do is I just put the container on the floor, simple, okay, to the point, side by side. So one's got the water that's going to go in, this one here is going to get the water that's going to come out, guys. Okay. And I like to do things the easy way, if possible, or the most efficient way. So what I, so you're just going to put the gravel cleaner into the little, that's it, okay. And then... I also own, I bought this years ago, so it's very useful, I'll show you in a minute. I have this guys, a siphon starter. You don't have to be sitting around, you know, sucking on, hold on, don't be doing that. You gonna drink tank water guys, seriously, that's gross, okay? You don't need, just get this, alright? And it's simple. You just put this in the hole and squeeze, okay? And it will draw the water up and out. Now I'm being lazy right now. There are actually two sizes for the um, the hole that I'm that holds the hose. But I, I'm lazy and I, I, I don't wanna, you know. It works anyway. So let me see that. I'll show you in a minute. If you look down here. See that? I hope you can see. The water is flowing out, guys simple quick easy okay water is flowing out all right so all I'm gonna do you can see my arm going in here I'm just gonna vacuum now because this tank holds very little water this is not gonna take very long okay I mean don't be vacuuming forever or you'll end up with no water <laughs> you'll empty up the entire thing which frankly it will not harm the fish it's just that It'll stress her a little bit, right? Because you, you're, well, taking away her home, right? So, I'm just gonna shove this down into the gravel gently. There's no need to make like, you know, a huge cloudy mess or anything. You don't have to like vacuum to the very bottom of it or anything. You just wanna get, it's one fish, guys. It's not like there's, you know, tons and tons and tons of waste. 
beaters are not messy like goldfish would be you know so you just move this around and try and get as much of the waste as you can okay you guys can see that and you know just gently move it around you can see all the dirt traveling up into it you can see how dirty the water down there is getting guys right it's very simple right very easy as you can see this is a no-brainer you know, I always marvel when people tell me that taking care of an aquarium is like really really hard and difficult and whatever guys it's this easy you know it's really this easy okay now if you're new with this you probably don't want to keep emptying out the water like I am doing right now you could stop like right about there halfway okay or whatever the amount you had before leave it halfway done right and then I'm just gonna take it as much as I can because I've been bad I did not change the water for like two weeks and I can get away with that guys because I don't um, feed her a ton like I don't overfeed my fish ever right so that's it I've taken out enough water what I'm gonna do now is fill her up okay let's just put this right here let that rest we'll deal with that when we're done so what I'm gonna do now guys is just um, fill her up and what I'm gonna do to do that is simply use um, a jug that I've got I'll show you Here's my jug guys simple jug and remember when you have a jug that's um, designated for your aquarium okay do not under any circumstance whatever you do don't ever wash it with soap okay you buy something just for the aquarium and you only use that for the aquarium and you never use soap just use salt and water to scrub it clean um, you can use a very 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 like seriously diluted um, um, amount of bleach and water to disinfect if you have to okay so right now you can see she's not loving the fact that she hardly has any water in there so let me stop talking and I'll just uh, fill her up guys okay so slowly but surely all I do is this guys very simple I just gently pour, what I do is I use the rocks okay if you look in here what I do is I pour the water on the rock not into the gravel what that will do is literally stop the gravel from making a humongous mess which is really important when you consider that I don't have a filter in this um, aquarium okay so that's it basically I'm just gonna fill this up all the way right and once it's full she can get back to living the good life guys that's pretty much it this makes her happy whenever I change the water you can see she notices oh yeah this is good stuff right and she swims around even more she she coming she's even more friendly generally you can tell when your fish is happy and when they're not okay I mean you can see a lot of stuff floating in the water right now because I'm really disturbing the gravel bed with all this trying not to but you can't really not disturb it at all because you because even in the big tanks you'll end up um, stirring up sediment no matter what you do guys so once that's done I just put this back on there let her be happy if you guys can see her okay Let's see if I could get a good shot before. I don't want it jumping out, guys. There she is. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. Clean beta tank. It's that easy, guys. Seriously, it is that easy. Okay. All right, guys, just wanted to thank you for joining me today. I'm wearing my scarf because honestly, guys, you do not want to see what's under here. We are talking major cornrow uh, gate. You know, it's, it's, it's bad. I have to do something about this here today. But that's what scars were invented for, right? And wigs and other good things. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. I appreciate you. Love you. Love each other. See you soon. Bye.